Yo, what's up guys, Master Mario here. Today I'm doing a top 5 on uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS bosses. Uh, so before we begin, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe. And uh, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss an upload. And uh, without further ado, let's get... No, wait, in fact, before we begin, uh, if you have a top 5 request you want, me to do, uh, uh, I'll do that one as soon as, and now, without further ado, let's get started. Here we go, number five. That's funny, we're starting off with a final boss. Uh, uh, it's Bowser and Bowser Jr. Uh, so, it, it, it's, it's like a classic final boss, really. So, like, what you do, there's Bowser and Bowser Jr. Uh, well, pre well, Right, so let me start off. Um, oh my god, I just realised there's no space between and and Bowser Jr. But that's not a big deal. Anyway, so let me start by saying, when you enter the battle arena, Bowser Jr. puts dry Bowser's body in this hot, oh, like, magical thing. I forgot what you call it. But, uh... Then it, then it transforms into Bowser, really. And then it's just, like, really, it's just Bowser and Bowser Jr. And, well, it's, it's quite good, because of that one part, then it's really just a normal fight. Which is just classic, really. So that's all I have to say. Alright, let me start off by saying... It's P.T. Piranha. P.T. Frickin' Pana- Pana- Yeah, Panana, sure, why not? It's P.T. Frickin' Piranha. What more could you ask for for a boss in a 2D Mario game? He originated in Super Mario Sunshine, and now he's in this game. A frickin' 2D Mario game. And what's even better, he's, he's in an ice stage. Like, like, literally, the arena is full of ice. So that, and that makes it more challenging. And this P.T. freaking Piranha, that's why I put him above Bowser and Bowser Jr. I don't care what, I mean, okay, I, I, I mean, like, I, this has my opinion, but still, like, I know it doesn't seem more interesting, but it kind of makes it interesting with the ice. But still, it's just P.T. freaking Piranha, what more could you ask for? Guys, before you start screaming, Mass Mario, why is Mega Goomba? Uh, above Peter Piranha. Uh, uh, well, that's because it's like more interesting. You, there's this switch in the middle, right? You need to, you need, you need to, uh, you need to stand on it, and two weird-looking green platform things appear when you activate the switch. Uh, uh, so green, weird green-looking platforms uh, appear when you activate the switch, and you need to. Uh, run to them before Mega Grimper, like Tad Shutley, and if he does, you know, it's self-explanatory. Uh, and then, like, what what happens when you stand on the green platforms is they, 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 they go up, right? They, like, rise up, and then 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 you get a chance to hit Mega Goomba. And, it, and that's, and it's, like, way more interesting than Petey Piranha boss, boss battle. So yeah, we're on to number two. This boss, right now, Lucky Thunder, is probably like one of the most original bosses you could get in a Mario game. I mean, like, I think this is the only game he's been in. I think it's like, I, I really like, I, I don't know what exact, I don't know what he exactly is, but like, I think it's just like a really more evil version of Last 2. But his name's like actually Lack of Thunder. I think he's a Laka too, just a really more evil version. But it's so original, I had to put it in number two. But you know what's more original than Lacky Thunder? I want you guys to guess who this will be. Take right, so we've done the other four bosses are already on the list. Now, out of the rest of the new Super Mario Bros. DS bosses, guess who it is? 
Leave a like if you got it right. Well, you don't need to leave a like. But oh well, still leave a like if you feel like it. If, that's right, you're right. I think. I hope you're right. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's your boy, Titan. It's more original than the laggy Thunderboss. It's literally a freaking Monte mode and a freaking tank. What more? <laughs> I mean, well, I guess you could ask for more, but there's stuff that's like so original, and it's not even Final Boss. It's an auto scroller. You know how in Mario Bros. Wii, where uh, you defeat Bowser and that giant Bowser just pops out of nowhere uh, and it auto scrolls. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's like here, but except the Monte Mullen tank is just its normal size. It literally auto scrolls. And also, Monty, the Monte Mullen throws out bombs that try to attack you. And there's also bullet bells. Uh, he's also shooting bullet bells from the tank. That is so cool. And you need to jump on at the right time. Like, I, yeah, you need to jump on at, jump on him at the right time at some point. If that, if that makes any sense, probably never. It, it, it probably never, to be honest. But anyway, that is number one for you. Alright guys, so that's pretty much my list, and I would like to know what your list is uh, in the comment section below. And uh, that's going to do it for this video, don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, that would be very much appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.